Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this uh, week's tutorial is going to be about uh, how they make the intro effect in my uh, for my channel. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of uh, requests for it, and you could not uh, do it because I was on vacation for the last three, three weeks, and I just back, get back from it. So I'm uh, back, and they have like thousands, of hundreds of uh, requests. I'm not sure how to process all these requests, but I do my best. Anyway, uh, today that's what I'm going to be showing you is how to do uh, this title here, which probably you already saw it at the beginning. Let me just show it to you again. And all the animation and the particle forming and all that, it's uh, all made in Element 3D. When Max was used just to uh, uh, fract of the uh, object. I could have only used particle and stuff like that, but it's going to take forever to render. And uh, I'd rather use just Element 3D for this kind of stuff, which takes like mostly for a project like this to like five minutes to render. So let's get to it, guys. First, I'm going to create a uh, text. Uh, w at 12, and I'm going to just zero it out. Okay. You barely can see this color, so I'm going to. That's why I have this part here. There we go. I'm going to just use the verb max. And I'm gonna change the the font to something uh, more fancy and I like this one. Uh, let's uh, add the bevel to it. And I'm gonna set it to one more for two. I'm gonna set it to yeah, this is good. Maybe 30. And the level 3, I'm going to set it to 1 and minus 1. Just back to 3. Font, that's what we got. Next, what I need to do, I'm going to use. There is two methods. There is a right fire, so you can use the cubic uh, right fire, or you can use the, the line method. Which I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to grab a lot of lines. My mouse is not working. I need a new one. Uh, maybe eight. Make sure they are all crossing your uh, geometry. That's really a very important thing. Select these two planes. I'm gonna freeze them. I'm gonna select all the other lines, other lanes, and uh, apply next to to them too. And maybe erase it. And I 
next blanket in the middle. Alright. Now I'm gonna have these all. Play back my text. Select uh, one of the planes, convert to an edible poly, and attach control A. Now you have all your planes in one object. Now one for this all. Go to the font, machine this to shade it. Now go to standard primitives and uh, the compound object. Select the power cutter. Make sure you check auto extract mesh and explode by error. Make sure you are selecting the planes first. You have the plane selected under cutter parameters. Uh, check the stack inside cutter. Next, pick stack object and pick your text. Boom, oh, that's all that we need. Yeah, so let's select this and break it. Now we got our text. Okay, now I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to show you the other method. This is using a uh, ray fire. Where is it? There it is. Ray fire. I'm going to add this one. I've got a fragment. Change it to a slice bricks. And you get uh, each square here is 10 centimeter here. So I'm going to just set it to 10. And make sure that all of oh, um, the wrong one first. I need to slice breaks. I'm going to set it all to 10, X, Y, and Z. And uh, I'm going to push fragment, and it might take a while. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Usually it depends, sometimes seconds, sometimes a minute. So I'm going to hit fragment and pause the video. Okay, the fragmentation is done. It's done. It took like 10 seconds. And uh, now you got uh, two kinds. You got uh, this one and this one. And you gotta just uh, choose which one you want. I think I might take this one here. But this one has a lot of uh, parts, so it might take longer. Let's see how much. 840, but that's not bad. So I'm gonna uh, delete those. I'm not gonna delete them, I'm gonna just keep them. But what you need to do, I'm gonna close the fire here. And it seems like uh, nothing is responding. I'm gonna pause the video again and hope that um, Max responds. Well, it did respond before I close it. So I'm gonna select all of these fragments. Okay, I'm gonna select all of these fragments and export selected as an OBJ and my max save. Yes. And uh preset is set it turn on and export. Done. For this one here, if you wanna you know, use the one from this one, make sure when you select all of these and go to effect pivot only and center to object. That's a really crucial step that you need to use because if you don't, when they move, they will move all in the same direction. So now I'm gonna uh, jump uh, to After Effect. Yep, uh, control U, Control Y, go. Under video copilot. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Make sure you select all of your object here and assign material to them. Because if you don't, when you import them in Element 3D, it's gonna have like thousands of plates, materials, samples. So I'm gonna select all my uh, object again, and I'm gonna export them again. second done I'm going to next grab element 3D 
scene setup import max obj no let in reality is we're gonna apply just uh, regular chrome material to it you can here you can be as artistic as you want and just put any materials or uh, you can make your own it's really self-explanatory here the textures if you have textures that you want to apply you gotta just uh, check this uh, uh, button here and you can set them up but uh, there is a lot of tutorial about how to use element 3d in uh, on video copilot so you guys can check them out there and then he explained them better than anybody else so I'm going to put my uh, max here I'm going to cancel I'm going to duplicate it duplicate my model I'm going to set the second one to group 2 and that's what I need to do and click OK uh, second I'm going to create a camera Control shift R plus C so it's going to give you the camera and for the camera I'm going to just put it over here okay maybe handle the 90 push P to get out the position and put a key on it now back over here sound here and the animation engine I'm gonna enable it I'm gonna set a key here at zero set a key here at 180 and set it to 100 percent I'm gonna give it a random scan and the rest there can play with those. I'm gonna do so initially I'm gonna change it from uh, directional to or radial. For the group one, go on the particle look and enable multi object. Next is go down to the scatter I'm gonna start scattering our pieces. Is in the Z space and in the Y. Let's say probably a. I'm gonna put eighty for each one of them. Okay. I'm gonna displace them too. I'm gonna give them forty for each axis. It's a lot. 25, 25, 25. Scale and then give it zero. One more thing, give it a rotation uh, randomness too. And uh, now I'm gonna just uh, play it and uh, see what you're gonna get. I'm gonna just pause the video and let it uh, record the frames. Okay, and that's uh, what we got here. Which is uh, really awesome that you are able to do this stuff in After Effects. And uh, I'm really enjoying this Element 3 plugin. Next, what you, you can do is obviously you can start enhancing it. Well, what the first thing that I recommend that you really do uh, is uh, you enable uh, your uh, motion blur and uh, 
and our rendering setting just uh, choose one of the lighting that you want uh, I usually use the cinema one but it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now let's say metal no nothing uh, right nope oh it's your environment here is it using Maybe I need to set up the environment here. Let's see set up. Let's see it cinematic. Stabilized. Okay, because of the columns, we really didn't see much of that. Uh, that's uh, lightning. It's in. You know, what the adds the ambient occlusion to plays a bigger role. Can't see it at the end, but here you can see it. So we do some intensity a little bit. Four. Oh, that's motion blur here. I'm going to turn it on. Now the samples to 10. And uh, I'm going to set the uh, create uh, boxy movie. I'm going to use a uh, PNG sequence. Mm -hmm. Let's click OK. Now render and then boxy. It won't take long to render. As you can see here. And that's what we get here, which is uh, really, uh, I think it's a cool uh, way to present your plugins, uh, your logos. Uh, next, why did the, the proxy so you can, uh, if you want to, this is the final look that you're looking for, there's no reason for you to keep uh, working on this camp. So just create a new camp here. Camp to when uh, I'm gonna put camp one in it. So as you can see it plays nice here. And uh, one more thing is uh, usually you need to copy your camera and bring it over here. And also you can only see if you add a particle and stuff or anything, they will be uh, aiming at the same camera. And yeah, that would be it guys, uh, this is it uh, for uh, today's tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys uh, learned something new, and as usual subscribe, like, comment, and uh, spread the, uh, the word guys, we'll see you in the next week, and uh, I'm working on uh, a lot of uh, new tutorials, so I hope you guys uh, uh, will uh, get a lot from these tutorials, thank you.